from the origins of your relationship, shrouded in the distant mists of the pandemic, masked and at a dog park, to the latest celebrations last night and today, you have been signaling us again and again of what you are hoping for. And it seems to me in this moment, you are doing exactly that in this very ceremony. And especially through the readings from the Bible that we have just heard and that you selected with so much care over the last few months. Reflecting on them and our conversations, I've come up with three words that may capture what you are saying to us about the love that brings you together today. The three words are uniting, tending, and giving. So a word on each. A few short words Two shall become one flesh, but so powerful. Now I know at last what has caused my heart to throb and ache so long. Now I know what will bring me joy and peace and wholeness. So is the love that makes two one flesh. It is a love that is full of energy and excitement, a love that causes hearts to ache and makes whole and happy a love that expands old households and founds new ones, a love that is full of heroic self-giving and passionate desire for union, a love whose embrace fuses together every similarity and complement and opposite of the two joined together. Love, in a word, that unites. Love, Paul writes, is patient and kind. Love is humble and true. Love bears all things and endures all things. Throbbing hearts get tired and wear out. Other things push love aside. But this is exactly why Caitlin and Corey's choice of St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians is so instructive. It brings us down from the unrelenting but exhausting excitement of Adam and Eve down to a love that is ready for the long haul, is tempered by failure and weakness, is strengthened by humility and self-probing, is grown with patience and forgiveness, whose strength is ensured less by the drama of its beginning, mask and in a dog park, than with the steady efforts at its tending, even when tending might be a little boring. Such love, Caitlin and Corey, signal to us with great humility, such love is not earned or deserved or argued for or owed. It is gift. It is a gift to be celebrated and reverenced and cherished. And as much in its first year as in its 67th.